Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is another reason for to keep your head on a swivel. No kidding. Uh, especially if you work in the public. Um, if you are an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, a taxi driver, a pizza delivery, food delivery, whatever the case may be. All right. Uh, this happened not too far from me, actually. This happened in Pasco County, Florida, all right? Uh, and this is just terrible, all right? And it doesn't matter where you live, okay? Head on a swivel. Know your surroundings at all times, okay? Uh, you've heard of the MS-13, all right? Well, one of them lives in Pasco County. And he was getting food delivered to him by an Uber Eats driver. And <clears throat> he took this man's life, okay? And dismembered him. And it was all while this guy was making a delivery of food. head on a swivel. All right. Know your surroundings. Sheriff Nako said, this is demonic. And it is. What he did is demonic. But at the same time, Sheriff Nako said, we couldn't answer the question of why. According to reports, the Uber driver, his name is Randall Cook, age 59, was last heard at about 6.30 in the afternoon on April 19th after he told his wife he was making his last delivery for the evening. And Randall was reported missing after he stopped responding to his wife's text messages. And Uber Eats gave detectives uh, Randall's last delivery location, which led them to a house on Moog Road, M-O-O-G. All right. Now, according to reports, the MS-13 GANG member, uh, he occupied this home where Randall was last seen on surveillance video. And the next morning, on April 20th, he was caught on surveillance video carrying around trash bags. Was it trash day? I don't know. So, an arrest affidavit states that one of the men appeared to be dragging heavy bags across the ground as he was walking. And Sheriff Nako said that Randall's remains were found inside the trash bags. And the sheriff said that the man is a very violent individual who moved to Florida this year after being released on parole from a prison in Indiana. And the man is affiliated with the MS-13 G-A-N-G. And he was accused of the same crime. Sorry. Very hard to talk about this stuff when it hits so close to home. You know what I mean? He was accused of this crime. Of an Uber Eats driver who was delivering to his house in Holiday, which is Pasco County. Okay. Now Uber Eats provided the detectives with Randall's last known location, which was at a house at the 3400 block of Moog Road. And the sheriff's office said that one of the occupants of the home was this guy. He's 30 years old, convicted felon, ties to the MS-13. Now, deputies obtained home security footage from this guy's roommate which showed the driver walking up to the house. Motion detector camera abruptly went dark just moments later at about 6.45 in the afternoon. And the next morning, this guy was reportedly caught on camera walking around the house with another man, both carrying these trash bags. And then the arrest affidavit states that one of the men appeared to be dragging this heavy bag across the ground as he was walking. 
Now, Sheriff Naco said several bags were found that contained the remains of Randall. And the arrest affidavit also indicates that the roommate heard loud noises coming from his room at approximately 2 a.m. And he was later seen with small cuts on his arms, his hands. And in the days that followed, detectives scoured the neighborhood for evidence to build their case against him. And evidence was found in several areas of the home. And Randall's car was later found abandoned about a quarter of a mile away from the home with evidence inside the car, along with a red DoorDash bag, similar to the one that Randall was observed carrying. Now, detectives also said that they found a time card with the suspect's name on it. And it was in the trunk of Randall's car. So, please, I urge you to be very, very careful when you are working, regardless if you work in an establishment, outside of an establishment, if you are a business owner, if you are a delivery driver, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter where you live either, you know. Just please be careful. Head on a swivel. Know your surroundings. We are living in crazy times right now. And it doesn't matter if you live in a blue state, a red state. It doesn't matter where you live. These things are happening. And it's, it's painful. It's painful. Okay. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless.